Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Pine Bluffs High School. Tonight, the Pine Bluffs Hornets will play host to the Lush Tigers in both boys and girls action. Glad to have you with us for CWAC Game of the Week. Mike McNamee joined by Grant Jones and Ryan Cape. Dr. Jones, first and foremost, glad to have you with us on a CWAC call. Great to be back. Been a few years yeah. on the regular season, so good to be back in the, in the 1A, 2A swing of things. And... Uh, Boy, just like that, we've reached the end of the regular season. Hard to believe. Yeah, nothing like showing up uh, just before the dance starts. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get you in on a good one here yeah. tonight and then roll right into, as you mentioned, regional tournament action that will start next Thursday from venues around the state. So we have lots of basketball to get through, a couple of good games coming your way here tonight. We have an amazing group of sponsors that bring these broadcasts your way. Let's take a two-minute timeout. We'll take a break, listen to spots from some of those sponsors, and be back after this timeout. 14 County Tire and Lusk would like to wish the Lusk Tigers the best of luck this season. Remember 14 County Tire for all of your tire needs, oil changes, tire repair, balancing, and rotation. For fast and dependable service for all of your tire needs, it's 14 County Tire, located at 990 South Main in Lusk. And go Tigers! Tom Fornstrom and the crew would like to take this time to wish the Pine Bluffs Hornets the best of luck this season. For premium hay and alfalfa products, call 245-3674. That's 245-3674. Go Hornets! Michael and Diane Lerwick are proud supporters of the Pine Bluffs Hornets. They invite you to join them in cheering on our boys and girls basketball teams on the court this winter. Good luck Hornets from the Lerwick family. Hi, this is Levi from Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital. In order to provide better access into our facility, there will be ongoing construction with the parking lot on the south side of the campus. Patients needing to visit our orthopedic providers, podiatry, or general surgeons may use the newly completed parking area south of the medical office building. For all other patients needing outpatient testing or to visit a friend or loved one, use the north entrance until further notice. For continued updates on this project, check out our Facebook page, Banner Health Torrington Community Hospital, making healthcare easier so life can be better. The Lusk State Bank brings you this edition of Local Sports. The bank has been serving Lusk in Niobrara County for 90 years and is your full-service bank for the area. With checking, business, savings, and time deposit accounts, they're able to serve all your financial needs with decisions made locally. The Lusk State Bank is involved in community activities in Niobrara County and is a proud sponsor of school activities. Stop in today and visit with the friendly staff to take care of your financial needs. Go Tigers! Blodorn Lumber in Torrington is having a huge paint sale for the month of February. Now is the perfect time to repaint that room in your house. Through February 29th, you'll get 10% off Benjamin Moore paint and get two free samples every Saturday. Benjamin Moore and Blodorn Lumber teaming up to help you spruce up your home and save 10% off all paint for the month of February. Blodorn Lumber at 219 West 21st Avenue. Welcome back to Pine Bluffs. Getting ready for CWAC Game of the Week action. Regional tournament games uh, just around the corner here starting next Thursday, and these two teams come into tonight's action. Pine Bluffs comes in at 10 and 10. They are two and two in that Southeast Quadrant play. Lusk, on the other hand, comes into this one at six and 14 overall, 0 and five in conference play. So Pine Bluffs with a chance, if the chips fall the right way, Pine Bluffs could possibly move into a second place spot, but could I think force a three way tie for first. Correct by the end of the by the end of the weekend, if uh, they get they'd have to get some help, you know, tonight by the way of uh, Burns, but uh, still I think lots to be decided. Yeah, and we could say the same, and when we uh, when we talk about the boys game, but mm -hmm. um, we will spend a little bit more time visiting about that as we get closer to it, but. Right now, it is time for our starting lineups, and they are brought to you by Simply Real Estate. Whether you're buying or selling, Simply Real Estate has a team of realtors that will make sure that the process is as simple and stress-free as possible. You can give them a call at 338-3069 or stop by their office. Simply Real Estate, where they make real estate simple for you. Here's Grant. Well, Michael, let's... Uh I think we're probably going to take a quick break here for the national, national Anthem. Why don't we do that, and then we'll come back with starting lineups for this one after this. 
Sadie's Cafe and Pine Bluffs is serving up the best food in town seven days a week. They're proud to support the Pine Bluffs Hornets and all extracurricular activities. Stop by Sadie's Cafe and order up something hot. Check out their Facebook page, which is always up to date with their current specials. Go Hornets from Sadie's Cafe, located on West 5th in Pine Bluffs. Think about how good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on. The neighbors next door always bring your favorite buffalo dip. Your in-laws know you need silence during clutch plays. And everyone knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Linda Lenz. I am here to get to know you and understand your life. I can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm agent Linda Lenz in week today. Also located on Main Street in Lusk. Call 334-3803. The Bluffs Vet Clinic in Pine Bluffs offers the best professional medical care for your animals. Whether livestock or personal pets, you can count on quality of care that your animals deserve. When it comes to ensuring recovery from surgical or non-surgical treatments, Dr. Shane, Nicodemus, Young, and Tanner utilize the latest in care technology as they know how much your pet means to you. For complete vet care, call Bluffs Vet Clinic at 245-9263. Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School, everybody. Getting all set for our final Kerm Seawack game of the week. Also able to be heard on uh, and seen on YouTube. Search KGOS Sports. You can watch this and the boys' game live with our commentary. Let's get right into those starting lineups. First of all, for Lust, they'll come out this way. They're coached by Ricky Kremers again, six and fourteen overall, looking for their first quadrant victory. Tonight, they'll start a junior, number four, Tessa Manning. A senior averaging 7.8 points a game, number 12, Phoebe Albright. A freshman, number 13, Marley Smith. A freshman, number 25, Sarah Klein. And a sophomore, number 33, Royal Kremers. I'll send it over to Mike here for a look at your Pine Bluff starters. Thank you very much, Grant. Pine Bluffs will go this way. Jessica Hoffman, a six-foot junior, averages 11.7 and 10.1 rebounds a game. We'll be joined by Kelsey Beimer. Check that. We're going to go with Kaylee Beimer. Kaylee Beimer, uh, a five-foot, five-inch senior. Reese Graves, a five-foot, nine-inch sophomore. Hattie Lerwick, a five-foot, nine-inch sophomore. And Avery Sweeter, six-foot, even sophomore. Hoffman and Smith are in the center jump circle. We are just about set to go here with the girls' action. Boy-girl doubleheader. We hope that you are in a safe, warm spot tonight. You know, uh, for our listeners and especially for our listeners up north, weather probably gets better the further south you go, if that's any consolation to those that may be worried that uh, the roads were not great. As always, with the tough conditions out there, still a good crowd. Here as it always is. Pine gets the opening tap in deep to Sweeter. She can't hit the turnaround jumper, but gets her own board. Kicks out to Beimer for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound fought for. They go to the floor, now kick out. Lerwick for three. Front iron. Goes out of bounds. Ball back to Lusk. Pine had some good looks. Yeah, they had uh, everything they wanted out of that uh, first possession. Just trying to find the bucket. Now it's Lusk ball. Albright will bring it out of backcourt. Enters left side, Manning. Manning puts it on the deck, in deep off the dribble, kick out, 15 footer on the way. Back iron, no good. Good look there by Sarah Krein. Pine on the run. In deep, Hoffman, double teamed, kick out. Lerwick, dribble drive, baseline, layup, that's good. Well, that's a great move by Hattie Lerwick. Right along that baseline, blasted past everybody, puts Pine up two. Albright with it, right side on the angle. Works against Hoffman, now kicks out Smith. Smith will go left side, Crine. Two Crines in that starting lineup, that's Sarah. Now they'll go right side. Jump shot, contested, tough shot won't fall. Rebound fought for, still loose. Sweeter grabs it. Outlets to Lerwick. Literally. Pine definitely with the height advantage in this one, Mike. In most of the games yep. that we've seen him play. 
Yeah, nice to have the Twin Towers in there, and they've got them in Sweeter and Hoffman. Lerbeck has it, enters baseline, turn around, spin move. That's Graves, puts it up and in. Good athletic move there by Reese Graves, and Pine has jumped up to a quick 4-0 lead. Albright thought about the long three, now gives Smith. Smith back to Albright, will fire the three, back iron no good. Hoffman grabs the board. To Beimer now up ahead, Lerwig ball tapped away, loose, Albright runs it down. Turnover Pine, two on one break, cross court pass. They'll call the travel. Did you see it? Good thought right there by Smith. It was close. Crossed Rachel. the cross the lane with the pass and just one too many steps. Rachel Krein will check into the lineup. The senior who averages 13 points and nine rebounds a game replaces younger sister Sarah. Hornet basketball. Beimer with it right side on the angle now reverses. Pass intended in the corner for Graves goes out of bounds. A little miscommunication between Hoffman and Graves. Yeah, Graves had already gone to the basket. Pass behind her. Turnover for the Hornets. Lost still trying to get on the board here. Albright with it right side. Works off the high ball screen. Has the ball tapped away. Now regains. Kicks out. Crying. Steps in. Ten footer and won't fall, but she'll be fouled. Probably going to work out better that time right there for Lusk as they will pick up the foul on the Hornets and it'll send the leading scorer for the Tigers to the line in Rachel Krein. Eyes the first free throw, fires it. That hangs on the rim and falls. They are on the board. Personal foul on Hoffman, her first. Krein fires the second, that's good as well. She hit them both. Lead now 42 on the CNA scoreboard. Beimer out of backcourt. Works the point, enters left side, Lerwick. Lerwick, bounce pass down low, turnaround jumper too strong by Sweeter, rebound Manning. Manning up ahead, Krein right side. Dribble drive, draws the double team, now skips cross court baseline. Pass intended for Manning is tapped out of bounds. Will stay with Lusk. That's a play there by the sophomore Graves. Stepping in front of the pass, tipping it out of bounds. And the Hornets will get a sub in. That's Avery Gray. That's a freshman and a pretty good one. Now the inbound pass tapped out. It came off of Manning. We'll go back to Pine on the turnover. Still 4-2. Early on in this one, 4.51 to go in the opening period. Gray dribbles right side, left side, excuse me. Enters to Hoffman. Tried to go back to Graves. Now it does kick out. 10-footer won't fall. Hoffman runs down the board. Tough shot baseline. That's no good. Third time put back by Graves. Won't fall, but she'll be fouled. This will be a foul on Phoebe Albright. First one on her for the Tigers. And... Pine to the line here, about midway through the first quarter, just leading four to two, can't hit the first. We talked a little bit, Grant, on the way down about the possibility of a shot clock coming to uh-huh. basketball uh, in the state of Wyoming next year. I don't know, I guess I don't see it impacting really much of the girls game. Both free throws are missed by Graves. Lusk out of there with the board. Albright with it, right side to Crine, three ball. That's no good. Backside board run down by Smith. Lusk will reload the offense. Crying with it. Left side on the angle. Puts it on the deck. In the lane. Had it blocked, but she was fouled. Boy, Hoffman thought she had all ball there. Oh, they didn't give it to Hoffman. It wasn't on her. Hoffman did have all ball. They gave it to Hattie Lerwick. First personal on Lerwick, gonna send Krein to the line, hits the first. Krein with three now, has them all at the free throw line. She'll have another. This one on the way, in and out no good, rebound. Saved back inbounds, comes right to Lerwick. 
Lerwick up ahead, tries to hit Hoffman. Albright steps in front of it. Turnover. Here come the Lady Tigers. Three ball in the corner. Crying. Banked at home. How do you bank it from that angle? The bank is open yes. here in Pine Bluffs. Our first three of the ball game. And obviously for Pine to be successful in this, uh, Mike, they're going to have to stay firmly attached to Rachel Crying. That is a good way of putting it. Now on the entry pass down low to Sweeter, she'll be fouled. All First. right with her second, I think. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, she will have to come out. That will prompt the substitution of Hannah Crine. The Crine girls are about like the Fornstrom girls, or the uh, Fornstrom boys. You got to start calling them first exactly. names. Exactly. Yep, got to separate them. Hornet basketball. Lerwick going to be bumped. Now they're going to call the jump. Not a bump. It was a jump. See what I did there? Nice little rhyme. Arrow favors Lusk. Leading this one 6-4 to four on the CNA scoreboard. Manning into the front court, left side. Crying. Thought about the three. Yeah, they're going to step out and guard her there. Dribble drive, baseline shot blocked and taken away by Hoffman. Hoffman up ahead to Lerwick. Ball goes out of bounds off of Lerwick's hands. I'm going to tell you, if uh, stat keepers would have a heyday with Jessica Hoffman, she will have a line that will include points, block shots, and rebounds. Yeah, she got a big block down there on the other end, and Pine just couldn't convert on the offensive end. Tough pass to make a cross defense. Smith with it, spins away from defense, gives to Manning. Now down low, Crine with it. Back to Hannah, she'll step in, the shot won't fall. Smith with the backside board, that's blocked and taken away by Graves. Now a tie up and the jump ball arrow favors the Hornets. Heads up play there by Marley Smith for Lusk. Tying up the ball handler and Pine Bluff's ball. 2.46 to go here in the opening period. Hornets trying to tie it and they will. Nice dribble drive, lay it up and in by Reese Graves. We're tied at six. Impressed by Graves' athleticism and speed so far, Mike. They didn't have a chance uh, to defend her there. Rachel Crine, dribble drive baseline. She'll be bumped out of bounds, but they'll say foul by Avery Gray. That will be Gray's first personal. Third team foul of the quarter. So are you familiar with the new rule? Involving the bonus per mm -hmm. quarter. Yep, seen that quite a lot in college for quite a few years now. It's worked its way down to the high school level. Oh, do they do it at the college level? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Inbound pass tapped out. We'll stay with Lusk. Manning will key the inbound. Down low with it. Stuck on the baseline with Sarah Crine. She'll be tied up, but the arrow will favor Lusk. Tiger basketball and to inbound. Do you have that one on your list? Number 21? Do not. Shot in the lane, blocked. And another jump ball gonna be called as into the lineup for the Hornets, McKenna Tareen. She will tie up and ball back to Pine on the alternating possession arrow. Tied at six. Tareen with it, dribbles right side to Graves. Entry pass intended for Sweeter. Tapped away, taken away. Up ahead, Manning. She'll lose the handle. They'll go to the floor and another tie-up. Really good start, I think, Mike, for Lusk in this one. Always tough to come way down here, play on the road. Tigers, of course, still looking for that first quad victory. Have the Hornets tied up here at six with under two to play in the first. Well, it would sure be a huge confidence boost if you're uh, looking for the place to start playing your best basketball. It's the time right now. Now a loose ball. They'll go to the floor. Hoffman will pick it up. Out of there with it up ahead, Beimer. Beimer swings it left side. Now Tareen with it. Tareen back to Gray, thought about the three, now goes back to Tareen, 17-footer on the way, too strong. 
Backside board taken away by Beimer. Out to Gray for three. Back iron no good. Rebound. Hoffman. Shot won't fall, but she'll be fouled. They're obviously going to be getting a lot of those rebounds. Twin towers down low for Pine Bluffs. And plenty of opportunities at the free throw line as I have Hoffman scoreless so far. Leading scorer on this team, still scoreless as she can't hit the first. Average is 11.7. Kind of nice to get a double-double on the average. Jessica Hoffman, 11 points and 10 rebounds a game. She did hit the second one. That breaks the tie. Pine leads it 7-6. to six. Did you find her? That one didn't help me. I'll check with some of our lush parents right below us here during the break. Manning with it in deep. Tough shot on the baseline. That'll fall Tessa Boy, Manning. Tough shot is right. Had a hand right in her face. Nice little bank there and Lusk back in the lead. Dribble drive on the baseline. Shot won't fall by Gray. Beimer with the rebound. Put back no good. Battle for the board and a tie up. The ball will stay with Pine. Sweeter with a quick reach getting her hands in there. Tying the ball up. Now she'll come out as well as Hoffman. We have had 15 points scored and 20 jump balls in yep. the first period. Lurwick enters down low. Pass intended for Graves. Tapped away, taken away by Manning. Tessa on the run. Still has it on a string. Now kicks out. Our mystery player fires the three. Can't get it to go. Graves with the backside board. Here come the Lady Hornets. Beimer skips cross court to Tareen. Tareen will wait on cutters now. Reverses back to Gray. Gray lobs in down low. Graves hangs on the rim. Shot won't fall. Rebound, Crine. Six to shoot here for the Tigers. Pass up ahead, taken away by Gray. Cross court. Lurwick in the lane. Shot won't fall. Put back at the buzzer is no good. And we have come to the end of one. After one quarter of pay, play, Lusk leads Pine 8 to 7 on the CNA scoreboard. We'll take a timeout. Be back after this break. As the seasons change, so do our banking needs. At Points West Community Bank, we have the experienced staff to help you year round. From planting in the spring, growing in the summer, and harvest in the fall, we have you covered. Our local ag officers specialize in the agricultural needs of our community and take the time to learn your individual operation one on one. Stop in and see us today to meet with our ag lenders to discuss your seasonal and year-round operating needs. We look forward to seeing you. Points West Community Bank, a new direction in banking. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Points West Bank in Pine Bluffs, 205 West 2nd Street. Call 245-3900. Decker's Market and Lusk prides themselves on helping you stock the kitchen with food to nourish the whole family. With quality meat, produce, everyday ingredients, supplies, and more, Decker's Market is here to fill your grocery list. Visit their website, deckersmarket.com, and view the savings and discounts available. Decker's Market and Lusk, a proud sponsor of Lusk Activities. Domino's carryout deal means you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each when you order online or by phone. Just in case there's any confusion, we've even set up a helpful website to confirm if today is a day you can carry out one topping pizzas for $7.99 each. Just go to howabouttoday.com to find out if Domino's carryout deal is valid today. Spoiler alert, it is. Carry out only. Ask for this offer. Availability and charges may vary. Size availability varies by crust type. Excludes XL and specialty. Your local store may charge extra for some toppings and sauces. Lady Tiger basketball to start the second quarter. Rachel Krein with it. Kicks right side. Paige Potter was our mystery player. She can't run down the errant pass. Ball goes out of bounds back to the Lady Hornets. Hoffman with a little bit more of a extended rest period over the quarter break back in there now. Tell you, Pine has missed a lot of easy shots down low, Mike. That's keeping this close, and now they get a turnover. We have seen this. In fact, we witnessed it here last Friday night. Just not a lot of rhythm and flow with this game yet. Back into the Lady Tiger lineup, Phoebe Albright. 
set for part of that first quarter with two fouls. Tessa Manning spins in the lane, rises from 14, and knocked down the jumper. It's her fourth point. Got a little bit of space in the paint and dropped it in. Tough baseline shot here by Gray. That won't fall. Kick out Lerwick. Cross court pass. Graves lays it up and in. Great look by Lerwick across the lane over to Graves. Six points for Reese. Phoebe Albright. Dribble drive, kick out, Rachel Crying. Three ball on the way, that's good. She's already accounted for a lot of points. That's her second made three. And nine of those 13 lost points from Rachel. And now a turnover on the other end as Marley Smith steps in front of a pass. Here come the Lady Tigers. Albright with it, right side. Back to Smith, into the lane, shot partially blocked. Taken away by Hoffman. Hoffman lost the handle on it, and they'll say that it went off of Jessica Hoffman. We'll go back to Lusk. Can see that easily from here. That did not. That went off of Krein's foot out of bounds, so Lusk with the break there. Keith did not ask us if we no, were he right did on not. that. How about that nifty yep. inbound play? They find Marley Smith. She'll put it up and in, and she's fouled. So the freshman, first two points of the contest. Foul will go on Avery Gray, that's her second. And Smith to the line for the end one attempt. And this would put Lusk up seven, if she can hit it. Coach Lindsey Forbes wants to talk it over. Timeout is taken, we'll take one with him. We'll be back after this break. When it's time to spray your fields, it's time to call the expert in commercial ag spraying. That's Cox Build Company, featuring the widest booms in the market. This means fewer tracks in the field. Cole Cox Bill will stand behind his work as the best in the industry. Cole can spray your fields and can source chemical for you. Give Cole a call today with Cox Bill Company, 575-2147. Mike McNamee, Grant Jones, Ryan Cave, glad to have you join us for CWAC Game of the Week action. Free throw by Smith will not fall. Hoffman snares the board. Beimer with it into the front court, needs help. Waits for cutters, now gives to Hoffman. She'll try and enter down low to Sweeter. The ball's tapped out of bounds. Potter got a hand on it, but it will stay with Pine. Lusk defense has been impressive, forcing a lot of turnovers in this one, really bothering Pine at this point, and they have the six-point lead. 15-9 on the CNA scoreboard. Now into the Pine lineup is Katie Bruns. Sweeter with that baseline pass intended for Bruns, saved in bounds, but comes right back to Krein, but she lost the handle, so it will go back to Pine. Well, while Krein was gathering, Hoffman just stood there. Krein ran right into her, didn't expect it. Well, we saw it on the left skin. We see it right there. Nice inbound play, easy bucket for Jessica Hoffman. Cuts the lead to 15 to 11. Krein out of backcourt, enters right side. Rachel with it, now skips cross court. Potter, Potter gives to Albright, Albright to the top of the key to Krein, back to Albright. Thought about the three, now puts it on the deck. She'll be fouled on the dribble drive. Graves will pick up the personal. Pinehand had that well defended. Albright just tried to split the defenders. It worked out in her favor. That will be first personal on Kaylee Beimer. Now, here is a three off of the inbound by Hannah Krein, and that's good. Well, Lush shoots the ball like this. They're going to yep. cause some problems for people. Here's a nice entry down low to Sweeter. She'll turn around, lay it up and in. Yeah, not going to stop that. Just a little turn down on the low block. Sweeter, the sophomore, six-footer, effective from right there. Crying with it. Rachel steps in, 15-footer, no good. Rebound on the backside, tapped out of bounds, back to Pine. Potter was after it. Couldn't come up with it, it'll go out of bounds. Inez Lazos checks into the lineup for Pine. 
Beimer will operate the point. That is Kaylee Beimer. Gives to Graves. Left side. Puts it on the deck. Dribble drive. Shot won't fall, but she'll be fouled. There's another case right there. The speed of Graves causing problems as she drives to the hole. Picks up the foul on... Who did they give it to? Well, they give it to Smith. I thought it was crying on the yeah, personal, but maybe not. That would certainly, that's uh, for either one of them, it would have been their first as Hoffman can't get the first free throw. Excuse me, that's Graves at the line. Second free throw by Graves, no good either. Lazos with the rebound. She'll be tied up. Jump ball, arrow favors Pine. Five, uh, 4.54 to go here in the half. 18-13, Lust leads it on the CNA scoreboard. Inbound, three ball on the way, no good. Albright, excuse me, crying with the board. Now they'll give to Rachel. Rachel will set the offense. Off of the give and go, lost the handle on it, tries to save it, but they'll say she was out of bounds. Great play out there by... Hoffman just kind of blowing up that give and go on the far side. Now Lazo's quick stint in the lineup for Lindsey Forbes. She'll be out. Bruns will operate the point. Goes left side, Graves. Graves works off the high ball screen. Now enters mm. down low. Lerwick with the easy bucket. Assist to Reese Graves. Four uh, points, Hattie Lerwick. Pine cuts a lead to three. Now a turnover on the other end. Lerwick stepped in front of the pass and was fouled. Pine Bluffs with a bit of a burst right now as they claw to within three. Fighting back here in the second quarter. As personal foul on Hannah Crine. No. I think it was, wasn't it? Got 25 up on the board. I've been confused by that a couple of times. Yeah. I had a question down here on a foul called. Pine could tie it with a three. There's one on the way from Graves. That's no good. Lerwick with the backside board putback. That is. Heads up play for Hattie Lerwick. She gets a quick four points here. Brings her total to six, and Pine is within one. Having a nice night now. Loose ball going to have to be run down by Manning. Manning to Albright. Albright right back to Tessa. Right side on the angle. She'll reverse to Smith, and now Smith will have it taken away by Hoffman. Hoffman off the dribble drive, pull up. Ten footer, that's good. Good presence right there by Hoffman, just to slow down. Didn't really feel like she had her feet under her going to the hole. Just stop, turn around, drop the five footer in. Looked like a far tougher shot than the layup was going to be, but she made it look pretty easy. Now... Hannah crying with it. The uh, excuse me, Sarah, going to be whistled for the violation, and Coach Ricky Kramer wants to talk it over with her crew. 3:03 to go here in the half. 19 to 18. Pine back on top. We'll take a timeout and be back after this break. Hi, Maggie Myers, your Torrington Edward Jones financial advisor. We're all about financial investments, but we also value the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Edward Jones is proud to cheer on our area teams on KGOS KERM. Call 532-3431 or visit edwardjones.com for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School. See you at Game of the Week action. So uh, you were saying Wheatland, uh, Torrington on the road to right. Wheatland tonight? Yep. Blazers got two uh, on the road this weekend with uh, regional wrestling taking up space at Willie Gym. Blazers will head to Wheatland tonight, travel to Newcastle tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I think you got to call that over and back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was pressure out there. Nice job by Smith, I believe. Uh, nope, it was crying out there causing the disruption. Got the turnover. Ball back to the Lady Tigers. Got a pretty good back and forth ball game here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. Biggest lead by either team, six, but it's a one point difference right now. Entry down low and a triple team there. Tie up. 
Boy, Pine did a nice job, surrounded Hannah Krein. Fortunately for Lusk, Arrow favors them because Krein was kind of in no man's land there. Albright off of the inbound, passes left side, Krein. Now to Manning, but they will call the three seconds violation. You did not see three seconds called very often anymore. Must have been there for a while. I think she was camped. Rachel Krein back into the lineup. She replaces Sarah. Lusk in a 2-3. Pine gives to Beimer at the point. Now left side, Lerwick fires the three ball. Too strong, rebound, backside board. Put back by Jessica Hoffman is good. Even allowed that one to bounce. Picked it up, put it in. One of those players that just has a nose for being right where she needs to be to be around the ball. Touch shot on the baseline by Manning, won't fall. Rebound, tapped out of bounds, ball back to Pine. Neither team afraid to use their bench. Coach Kramers, I think she's used, already used her entire bench. Close to it anyway. Paige Potter back in the lineup now for Lusk. Graves with it, dribble drive, now picks it up and they'll say that she walked with it. We've seen Graves attack the basket from there. Not sure what stopped her. Well, it looked Other like she the, had a pretty good look at it. Got banged kind of down on the low block. Maybe that threw her off. I was going to say, other than the traveling violation, nothing stopped her. Yeah. Rachel Krein with it. She'll challenge Hoffman. Steps in, has it blocked. Loose ball. Fought for, taken away by Hoffman. Gives to Beimer in backcourt. On the run with it. Pulls up, three ball on the way. That's good. It's a big shot. Kaylee Beimer with her first bucket. Pine back on top. Now they have the six point lead. 24 to 18. Crying with it. Guarded out top, gives right side Manning. Now to Potter. To Crying. Crying with it, steps in, loses the handle, taken away by Graves. It's a big burst right now here for the Pine girls. And a nice run for them here. Left side, Lerwick for three, too strong. Backside board, no good. Rebound, tapped out by Hoffman, back to Lusk. Under a minute to go here in the half. 53.3 to be exact. McKenna Turin will be back in the lineup, and also Lazos set to check in at the next dead ball. Right side on the angle with it is Manning. Now, gives to Krein, back to Albright for three, too strong, back arm, backside board taken away. Potter with it. Potter kicks out, 28 to go in the quarter. Albright enters right side, Smith back to Albright, but she'll be fouled. Yeah, Graves pulled her hands away just at the last minute, hoping the official didn't see it, but got her on the reach. Just the first personal on Reese Graves. That will prompt the substitution of Keeper Fornstrom into the lineup. Bounce pass out the inbound, Crying Needs help, now kicks out Potter. Potter gives to Albright with 15 to shoot. Albright into the lane, shot hangs on the rim, falls off, rebound Lerwick. Lerwick with seven seconds in the half. Gives to Fornstrom. Now Tareen for three, that short backside board, no good. Put back is good. Oh, they're gonna count it. They're gonna count it. I would have said that was that late. That was really close. Kind of sounded from here like the horn might have gone off, but hey, they always have a better look at it than we do, right? If they go to the monitor on that one, it won't count. <laughs> I don't believe they will. With the late bucket. Wondered if they were going to talk about it, but they will count it. So with the late bucket, Pine takes a 26-18 lead into the halftime locker room. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back for halftime stats and numbers right after this break. The Niobrara County Chamber of Commerce is proud of our students who participate in team sports and all other extracurricular activities. We wish the Tigers the best of luck on the court this winter. 
For more information about the town of Lusk and the chamber, go to visit lusk.weebly.com or call 307-334-2950. Go Tigers! The entire staff at Farmer State Bank in Pine Bluffs would like all Pine Bluffs athletes to know that they support you and wish you the best of luck this season. Farmer State Bank invites you to stop in for all of your banking needs. Farmer State Bank is located at 103 East 2nd Street in Pine Bluffs. Again, Farmer State Bank wishes all Pine Bluffs athletes good luck and supports you every step of the way. Go Hornets! Texas Trail Market in Pine Bluffs has all you'll need to feed the family. Shop today and find quality meat, fresh produce, and all of your frozen favorites. Be sure to check their website, texastrailmarket.com, for sales and online coupons. Texas Trail Market in Pine Bluffs, a proud sponsor of Pine Bluffs activities and proud to help you feed the family. Whether you're a Wyoming Cowboy fan or a Trailblazer, Lancer, Dogger, or Cyclone, Heartland Embroidery has the apparel and accessories you need to show your school colors. Stop in a store on Main Street in Torrington and take a look for yourself. From jackets and t-shirts to everyday gear and accessories, we promise you'll find something for the whole family. With new items always coming into the store, you'll always find that perfect item to show off your school spirit. Only at Heartland Embroidery, downtown Torrington. Your farm or ranch is unique. Your insurance coverage should be too. I'm Kyle Rafferty, and at J.G. Elliott Insurance Center, we provide coverage for everything you work hard for day in and day out. We tailor coverages to meet the needs of your operation. Together, we can find the right policy to protect you from the unexpected. Give me a call at 532-2147 or drop by my office here in Torrington. J.G. Elliott Insurance, a Platte Valley company. Everything for the rancher but rain. Ranchers Feed and Supply in Lusk would like to thank all of their customers for your continued support. When it comes to livestock supplies, feed, ranch supplies, or clothing, Ranchers Feed and Supply is here to assist their farm and ranch friends. Muck Boots, Hubbard and Crystal Looks Feeds, Armstrong Steel Buildings, and much more. Ranchers Feed and Supply is here to serve Lusk and the surrounding area. We have everything for the rancher but rain. Ranchers Feed and Supply wishing all of of our fine Lusk athletes the best of luck. 14 County Tire and Lusk would like to wish the Lusk Tigers the best of luck this season. Remember 14 County Tire for all of your tire needs, oil changes, tire repair, balancing, and rotation. For fast and dependable service for all of your tire needs, it's 14 County Tire, located at 990 South Main in Lusk. And go Tigers! Let's take you to Funky Town. Hi, this is Tanya at First State Bank in Torrington. We are getting our groove on with totally free checking. Our Dino Might accounts have no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirements, a free instant issued Visa debit card, plus a free gift, a Bluetooth tower speaker. That will make you want a boogie. Our way of saying, yeah, baby. So do the hustle to a First State Bank branch near you. First State Bank in Torrington, Wheatland, Guernsey, and Casper. Your first choice in banking. Division of Glacier Bank, member FDIC. Wynema Ingstrom CPA PC specializes in agriculture, which includes tax preparation, accounting, bookkeeping, and consulting services. Wynema and her staff also do tax preparation for corporations, partnerships, trusts, and estates. They provide a wide variety of other services that include payroll preparation, financial statement preparation, consulting, and estate planning services. Your tax and financial information are in good hands with W.S. Ingstrom CPA PC. Are you planning a kitchen remodel but don't know where to start? Hi, this is Dan Shields from Century Lumber. Start with semi-custom diamond cabinets and Century Lumber. Diamond cabinets offer the latest door styles and finishes at an affordable price. I can walk you through all the features and benefits and provide a free estimate and expert design. Stop in and turn that vision of your dream kitchen into a reality with the help of Century Lumber Center in Torrington. Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School. CWAC Game of the Week action. Mike McNamee, Dr. Grant Jones, and Ryan Kate. Glad to have you with us. We are at the half of the girls' contest. Pine, with a big run late in the second, takes a 26-18 lead. Memory serves. I think 
Lusk was up 18 to 15, and Pine went on an 11-0 or 11-3 run. Well, I think at some, at one point there earlier in the game, Mike Lusk might have been up by seven, and uh, yeah, tail of uh, tail of two quarters, I guess you could say. Absolutely. Time for our halftime stats, which are brought to you by North Platte Physical Therapy. North Platte Physical Therapy is committed to keeping you at the top of your game, both on and off the court. Marnie and the crew are on the ball and ready to help you figure out what ails you and how to get you back to your best. North Platte Physical Therapy, where they provide quality professional care with the family-friendly atmosphere and always flexibility. Stop by and visit them at 1301 East M Street or give them a call at 532-5355. Here with our halftime stats is Dr. Grant Jones. Thank you, Mike. So as Mike alluded to, pretty tight seesaw ball game here back and forth in girls' play. Lusk clung to a one-point lead after the first quarter, 8-7, to seven, and then Pine exploded for 19 second-quarter points to Lusk 10 to have this lead here at half 26-18. to 18. Leading scorer for the Lady Hornets, that'd be Hattie Lerwick. She's got four field goals on the evening for eight points. Seven points for Jessica Hoffman. Six points for Reese Graves. Kaylee Beimer hit a three. And Avery, Avery Sweeter with a lone bucket down low for that total. For Ricky Kremers, Lust Lady Tigers. Leading scorer for both squads, Rachel Krein. But most of, if not all of those, I believe came in the uh, first quarter for Rachel. She's been uh, held under control for a good portion of that second quarter. Again, she's got nine. Tessa Manning also starter with four. And then Hannah Krein with three. And Marley Smith, the freshman, starter with two. There you have it. Yeah, I hadn't even done the math on that second quarter, but you're exactly right. 19 to 10. Pine outscores Lusk in the second quarter to take this lead at the half. So we are about two minutes from uh, starting the second half of action. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back for second half action after this break. And Lerwick are proud supporters of the Pine Bluffs Hornets. They invite you to join them in cheering on our boys and girls basketball teams on the court this winter. Good luck, Hornets, from the Lerwick family. Todd Fornstrom and the crew would like to take this time to wish the Pine Bluffs Hornets the best of luck this season. For premium hay and alfalfa products, call 245-3674. That's 245-3674. Go Hornets! Not sure if you're on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help you and your finances moving forward. Having a plan to save and spend can help build your financial confidence. Knowing you have the right savings plan can help build your financial success. With free tools like online banking and helpful products like automatic savings plans and budgeting tools, you are in control of your financial future. Start saving today at www.pvbank.com. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC. Lodgepole Valley Seed is a proud supporter of the Pine Bluffs Hornets and wish them the best of luck this fall sports season. Reach out to your local channel dealer to discover seedsmanship at work. Your local channel seedsman is Chris Fornstrom. Call Chris today at 307-274-2825. That's 274-2825. Proud to support the Hornets. Lodgepole Valley Seed in Pine Bluffs. Shopping for a used vehicle can be a scary proposition. Who can you trust? Laramie Peak Motors in Wheatland is who you can trust. At Laramie Peak Motors, they keep and purchase only the best pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Then they're subject to a full certification inspection before making them available. But that's not all. Their motto is old-fashioned service for modern times. They stand behind everything they sell. Laramie Peak Motors, I-25, exit 80 in Wheatland. Easy to get to from anywhere in southeastern Wyoming. Laramie Peak Motors. 
Zumbrun and Angus is a family-owned Angus seed stock operation located northwest of Lusk, Wyoming. They specialize in developing progressive bulls and females to help commercial and registered cattle breeders increase productivity and profitability. Zumbrun and Angus also offers high-quality wholesale beef, further showing their efforts yield results in the pasture and on the plate. Zumbrun and Angus is a proud supporter of Lusk activities. Visit zbangus.com to learn more. Lady Hornet basketball to start the third quarter. Beimer with it. Right side to Lerwick. Lerwick to Hoffman. Hoffman lobs down low. Turnaround jump shot. Sweeter no good. Backside board put back. That's no good. Rebound Lusk. Be interesting to see, Mike, if the Tigers can claw their way back into this one like they did in the first quarter. Used a nice run. Hit a couple of threes. Just played a really good solid uh, quarter of basketball, but then went away. Seemed like late in that second quarter. Neither team really has used a whole much, uh, much of a press, you know, up to this point. Smith in deep with it. Shot won't fall. Hoffman grabs the board. Pine out of there with it. Baseline. Sweeter has it. Tough shot won't fall. Rebound put back. No good. Sweeter will have another shot. Her put back is no good, but she'll be fouled. No substitution for height. And uh, she just placed herself in the perfect spot down there. Drew the foul. Da, 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 I believe it was what? On Sarah Krein? Correct. That's her second. So you got a couple of Tigers now. Her and Albright with two apiece. Hits the free throw. Sweeter will have another. Just her third point. She's gotten some foul trouble last Friday when we were down here. Got a nice free throw there. Nice form. Now, just as you mentioned, the press. Pine will slap one on. Biggest lead of the ball game. Double digits here. 28 to 18. Pine with the lead. Rachel Krein with it out of backcourt. Krein's comfortable with it out top. Pulls Hoffman out away from the basket. Works against her one on one now. Pass intended for Manning will go into the backcourt, back to Pine. Yeah, just uh, Rachel crying a little too strong with the pass. Yep, and it was low, and Manning had a tough time with it. Now Pine will get it out of bounds right underneath their basket. Inbounds to Hoffman. Turnaround bank shot. Jessica Hoffman, that's good. That is how you draw up an inbounds play, right there. Ninth point for Hoffman, and Pine is rolling. They lead it 30 to 18. Now a turnover on the offensive end for Lusk. Beimer on the run with it. Passes right side. Lerwick tries to hit a cutting Sweeter. Sweeter can't handle it. Smith takes it away. Back out to Albright. Thought about the three. Defended there. Kicks right side. Crying. Rachel. Baseline dribble drive. Retreats. Steps back to three. Couldn't get it to go. And Graves grabs the backside board. That's Hoffman's job out there on the wing, Mike, is to control crime. And Rachel started hitting shots in the first quarter, not since. I think the length out there of Hoffman is causing problems. Now a turnover on Pine. Lusk back the other way with it. Crying with it, left side. On the perimeter, retreats to the point. She'll stand. Now, the 1 4 high offense set. Pass. Right side comes right back to Krein. She'll step in. Tough off balance shot won't fall. Hoffman grabs the board. Gives to Beimer. Beimer reverses right side. Lerwick with it. Lerwick in deep. Shot partially blocked. I think Krein got it. Krein's out of there with it. Up ahead. Two on one break, layup, Marty Smith, that's good. Good control play there by Smith. Turned around, put it softly off the glass and draws Lust to back within 10. Nice to see the production out of the freshman Smith. Back the other way, Hoffman catches, steps in, five footer, bank shot, that's good. Double digits now for Jessica Hoffman, 11 points. Back to a 12-point Hornet lead. Nice give and go. Tessa Manning with the layup. Nice give and go is right. And Lindsey Forbes wants to reset her defense. 
Going to take a timeout here. We'll take one with him. 4.26 to go in the third. Pine leads it 32-22. to We're back after this break. Decker's Market and Lusk prides themselves on helping you stock the kitchen with food to nourish the whole family. With quality meat, produce, everyday ingredients, supplies, and more, Decker's Market is here to fill your grocery list. Visit their website, deckersmarket.com, and view the savings and discounts available. Decker's Market and Lusk, a proud sponsor of Lusk Activities. I used to think that so long as I was careful, I couldn't get injured. But being sidelined with a torn ACL definitely wasn't in my plans this season. My family made an appointment for me with the providers at Memorial Hospital of Converse County. Their knowledge and care helped me heal and learn how to prevent future injuries. I found an all-star team for my health care in their orthopedic and sports medicine department, one that will keep me in great shape and suiting up. I discovered that bigger isn't always better at Memorial Hospital of Converse County. The final regular season CWAC game of the week. Course we action to come tomorrow. There's a big one tomorrow. These Pine Bluffs teams got to travel up Lingle way. That'll be a biggie. Both games in that one going to be important. Nice bounce pass down low. Graves catches, puts it up and in. I don't know who got the assist there, but they need to be credited for that. Nice little set. I think that was Lazos up top that threw it in. Crying fakes on the three, steps in, defended well there, kicks out three ball, back iron no good. Smith runs down the backside board, gives to Manning. She draws the double team, dribble drive on the baseline, hands to Crying. Crying with it, gets away with a push off. Lusk will reload. Albright with it, passes right side to Smith. Now to Manning, back to Crying. Rachel tries to enter down low, pass too tall, taken away by Gray. Gray on the run. Tries the bounce pass, that's stolen away. On the run with it, Rachel Crine. Shield challenge from eight. That won't fall, rebound put back, no good. But Tessa Manning is gonna be fouled. I think Hoffman will pick this up. She will. Whatever, just for one, but they'll say two. Honor. Tessa Manning to the line. Six points on the night. The junior eyes the first, fires it, and got it. Back into the lineup for the Lady Tigers. That is Hannah Krein. She'll replace Sarah Krein. At least we got a Krein for a Krein. That's right. Yeah, you can just call the last name. Exactly. Manning got both of them. She has eight. It's back to a 10-point lead. 3.13 to go in the third. Beimer with it. Passes left side, Lerwick. Lerwick counted there by Manning. Now spins out of contact, and now a hand check going to be called. Of the two, Dr. Jones, which yeah. would you have thought would have been called as a foul? Manning, very fortunate she didn't get called first. But it will go on Hannah Krein, first personal. Lerwick tries to enter, now does so. Ball right back to Graves. Shot won't fall. Rebound, thought for, and a foul going to be called. Yeah, uh, Reese Graves would like to have that one back because she had a bunny. You know, and Pines, you know, if you're a Pine Bluffs fan out there, if this goes their way the rest of the way. You're looking for something to improve on tomorrow. It's those shots down low uh, that really uncontested, that haven't gone for them tonight. Got to put those in. Now Hattie Lerwick going to be whistled for the personal foul. That is her second. It'll be Lady Tiger basketball. Out of bounds to the left of their own basket. Crying to in Brown. Hannah. Lob entry to Sister Rachel. Rachel from 15 feet steps in, gives to Manning. Now to Albright for three. That's good. Just a great setup right there by Phoebe Albright. Using the ball handler as the screener. Got space, drilled the long shot. Big pick at the top right there. Yes, there was. That rattled poor Marley Smith's teeth there. 
Back door cutting gray. Going to be fouled by Krein. Two quick ones here in the third quarter on Hannah Krein. And now Gray will be out. Sweeter back in. And also Beimer to the bench for Pine Bluffs. Lerwick off the inbound. Enters down low block. Sweeter with the turnaround jumper. That's no good, but ball was tapped out by Lusk. We'll stay with Pine. Sweeter needs to hit that. That's a pretty nice yeah, entry. Another right bunny there. miss. Yeah. You know, by Pine Bluffs. Fortunately for them, they get the ball back. Gray works off the screen from Tareen. Now they enter down low to Hoffman. She'll turn, bank it up and in. Jessica Hoffman not going to miss that one. She's got 13 on the night. That is a little above her average already here with a minute 50 left to go. Third quarter. Now McKenna Tareen going to be whistled for the bump. That is her first. That is the fourth team foul, so Lusk will shoot the bonus the rest of the way. Paige Potter back into the lineup for Lusk. Inbounds to Manning. Manning works against Tareen, now passes right side Albright. Ooh, moving screen, you could see it coming, yep. couldn't you? Graves was, I believe, just about to step up and foul Albright, so that worked out nicely for the Hornets. That's number three on Hannah Krein. Graves with it to Tareen. Tareen dribbles right side. Graves cuts back door, double teamed on the baseline, kicks back out. Tareen. Tareen hands to Hoffman. Now to Lerwick. Lerwick on the drive, kicks out. Tareen for three. That's good. Yeah, that was, we had a perfect angle to watch that shot, didn't we? Big shot, and boy, they're really letting them bang down low now, aren't they? Yes, they are. Here's Albright. That shot doesn't draw iron. Hoffman with the backside board. Outlet, Lerwick. Now back to Tareen. One minute even in the third. Lerwick, baseline dribble drive, kicks out Sweeter for three, and that barely stays in the gym. Yeah, caught the top of the backboard right there. Probably not a shot that Sweeter takes a whole lot during the course of a ball game. Let that one fly. Somebody and somebody dared her. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Came from the bench. Yeah. Do it. Pull the trigger. 47 seconds to go in the quarter. Albright with it right side. Hounded there by Graves. Now entry down low to Krein. Krein steps in, tries to reverse. Won't fall, but she'll be bailed out. Had to weave her way through about three Hornets down low underneath the basket. Just tried a little reversal up. Say they caught some arm. And to the line, Sarah Krein, scoreless. Yeah, the freshman fires the first, and that rolls off. She'll have another. Yeah, that's a play where you instruct your kids, don't bail her out. She had nowhere to go with that. Would have been a circus attempt to get it in from that angle. Second free throw is short. Almost had her own board. Now Manning runs it down. Gives to Albright, and Albright will be called for the walk. The feet started before the dribble went down a little too quick right there for Phoebe Albright. Turnover Lusk. And Pine with a double digit lead. Going to try to add to it here as we tick our way down to the end of the third quarter. Tareen kicks out Graves. Right back to Tareen. Tough shot inside, no good. Partially blocked. Tries mm. another. That won't fall either, but she's fouled. Shortest player on the floor right now, McKenna Tureen got that ball up, drew the foul, and it just about rolled in for her. That will send Tureen, the 5'5 sophomore, to the free throw line. First free throw on the way is good. Was held scoreless in the first half. Now with four in the second.
personal foul was on Paige Potter. That is her second. Now on the miss by Tareen, Hoffman got the rebound and she's fouled on the putback. Sarah Krein will pick up the personal. That's number three on her. So all of a sudden, it's turned into a foul fest. Yeah, big rebounds too by the Pine Girls. Second chance points, foul shots. As Hoffman hits that one, brings her to 14 on the night. There's the second, that one no good, but Lerwick with the backside board, put back no good. Hoffman gets the rebound and puts it up and in. She's had a really nice game. Yeah, and you mentioned it early, if they didn't address the size difference, they were gonna have troubles. To this point, they haven't done it. The shot at the buzzer is no good, and we have come to the end of three. Pine leads it, 43-27. to 27. We'll take a break and be back for fourth quarter action after this timeout. This edition of Local Sports. The bank has been serving Lusk in Niobrara County for 90 years and is your full-service bank for the area. With checking, business, savings, and time deposit accounts, they're able to serve all your financial needs with decisions made locally. The Lusk State Bank is involved in community activities in Niobrara County and is a proud sponsor of school activities. Stop in today and visit with the friendly staff to take care of your financial needs. Go Tigers! The Niobrara County Chamber of Commerce is proud of our students who participate in team sports and all other extracurricular activities. We wish the Tigers the best of luck on the court this winter. For more information about the town of Lusk and the Chamber, go to visitlusk.weebly.com or call 307-334-2950. Go Tigers! A brief pause here before we start the fourth quarter of action. Let's have a score update brought to you by the Bronco Grill House. When you're in the mood for a really good hamburger, why not go where you'll get the best burger in town? The Bronco Grill House in Torrington. Sponsor our score updates. And, Ryan, you had a score from Wheatland. Is that right? Yep, 2014 at half. Torrington with the lead. That was the last I heard. Of course, the Blazers uh, won that first match between the Bulldogs and the Blazers in Torrington. This one would give them sole possession of uh, second place in the quad. That would be big going into that regional tournament. That would mean you wouldn't have to play either Douglas or... Well, Douglas is in the south, so uh, uh, you, you get a little further away from Buffalo that way. That's true. After the uh, score that I saw from the game played on Tuesday night, you don't want any part of probably either one of them. Nice entry pass down low. Sweeter. Sweeter steps in. Can't get the shot. Put back no good. Lerwick with the board. She'll kick out. They'll retreat. Reset the offense. Back to Lerwick for three. Too strong. Back iron board taken away by Manning. Manning up ahead. Nice. To Klein. Couldn't handle it, though. Yeah, it was a great thought. That is a tough angle to make an entry pass on the run right there. Substitutions for Pine as Graves and Gray come back into the lineup. Tareen will bring it out of backcourt. Dribbles right side. Now lobs in low to Gray, too deep. Tries the circus shot, but it's blocked. Comes right away to her. Now down low, Hoffman with it. Hoffman gonna be bumped and fouled and they're gonna get Rachel Krein, I believe. Yep, reaching a foul. On Crine, just have her for one. Yeah, that's it. Out of bounds, Pine Bluffs under their hoop. Beimer with it, back to Gray for three. That's no good, rebound Smith. Lusk on the run. Smith loses the handle, now gives to Albright. Back to Manning, enters down low, nice pass. Shot blocked, but a foul gonna be called. Sarah Crine will go to the line. Hoffman thought she caught her clean, but it will be her third personal. That will send freshman Sarah Crine to the line, two free. Trying to cut into this 16 point lead. Game that seems as though it's been much closer than that. First free throw is no good. Sarah will have another. 
Pine Bluff started off this game slowly, just seven points in the first half, but put a lot of points on the board since. 19 in the second, 17 in the third. Second free throw is good by Krein. First point for her. That's what I should. I got the wrong one down. Nope, she had a three earlier in the game. Now a traveling violation going to be called on Tareen. So the ball will go back to Lusk. Pine with full court pressure here once again. Manning up to the task, crosses the timeline. Works against Tareen. Now passes right side. Rachel Krein with it. She has it on a string. Dribbles baseline. Mm. Kicks out to Albright. Now that will make it into the backcourt. The violation. Those tough passes. That's kind of been the story for Lust tonight. They've been a little high and unable to be corralled. A few backcourt violations tonight on the Tigers. Lady Hornet basketball. Left side, Beimer with it. Beimer. Back to Tareen, back to Beimer. Pine can be patient here. Sure can. Lusk is in his own. Baseline jumper won't fall, but it was tapped out of bounds by Smith. It will stay with Pine. Potter and Hannah Krein come back into the lineup. Graves will inbound, does so to Tareen. Tareen to Gray. Gray with the tough shot that won't fall, but she'll be fouled. This one will go on Sarah Krein. Third personal. We'll see if Pine recognizes that. How long Lusk will stay in the zone. Can bleed a lot of time off the clock here in the fourth if they stay in it. The freshman, Gray, drills the first free throw. First point of the night for Avery, I mm -hmm. believe. Second free throw on the way. That's good as well. And a quick substitution as they will bring Hattie Lerwick in to replace Tareen. Forty-five twenty-eight on the CNA scoreboard. Lush trails, they have the basketball. Hannah Krein steps in, nice shot. Won't fall, but she'll be fouled. Ooh, I like the step through there. That was nice. Drew the foul on the Hornets. And what did we say? Hattie Lerwick with her second. No, they didn't give it to her, did they? Gave it to Graves. As the first free throw, no good by Krein. Lerwick got her arm banged and was kind of clutching it there for a minute. That's why I thought it was on her. Second free throw by Krein is good. Cuts a lead to 45-29. Hornet basketball. Right side, Lerwick. Lerwick hits a cutting bimer. She'll step in. Eight footer on the way, and that's good. She would have held on to that any longer. That would have been blocked, but she got rid of it quickly. Put it in for her fifth point, and it's an 18-point Pine Bluffs lead. Rachel Krein with it. Passes right side Manning, now down low. Sister Krein to Potter. Baseline jumper no good. Gray with the board. Beimer burns the timeline. Stops. Three ball on the way. That's no good. Rebound. Hoffman. That putback is good. Just an impressive player. Been impressed with her tonight. 18 points. Sticks with it. Gives the Pine Girls a lot of second chances at a hoop. Well, and she's done a great job defensively here on Rachel Krein. Rachel hit a couple of early threes. They moved Hoffman over on her, and she just hasn't yep. been able to feel comfortable since. Now a dribble drive baseline jumper by Manning is no good, but she'll be fouled. This one I can say with fair certainty is on Hattie Lerwick. Whistle her for her third. Nailed it. That will send 
junior Tessa Manning to the free throw line. First free throw on the way is no good. Katie Brunge checks back into the lineup for Pine. Replacing Graves. Manning fires the second. That one is good. And now a timeout going to be called. 4.18 to go in the contest. Pine leads it 49-30 to 30 on the CNA scoreboard. We'll take a timeout and be back after this break. Dentistry, it's their vision that patients have the freedom to choose a lifetime of optimum dental health. It's their mission to provide progressive excellence in dental care with the ultimate in patient comfort. Dr. Marsh, Dr. Lucas, and the staff are always striving to learn the most up-to-date information. So it's clear to see that Platte River Family Dentistry is the right choice for your dental health. They appreciate your referrals and always welcome new patients. Call Platte River Family Dentistry at 532-4448. Welcome back to Pine Bluffs High School CWAC Game of the Week action. Girls game in progress, boys game to follow. Really looking forward to that one. Should yeah. be something, should be shouldn't one. it? Yeah. A lot on the line on that one. We'll talk about that as we uh, roll into the pregame for that one. Hornet basketball, nice job breaking the press here. Gray has it in the front court now, has it tapped away, taken away by Crine. Hannah with the steal. Up ahead to Rachel. Now to Potter, back out to Crine for three. Back iron, no good. Backside board, tapped out of bounds, will stay with Lusk. Got freshman Marley Smith, who started the game for Lusk, back in there now for the Tigers. Hannah Crine, nice left-handed jumper in the lane. That won't fall. Hoffman grabs the board. Ahead they'll go Lurwick. Lurwick, down low. Hoffman, turnaround jumper. That's good. Easy. Just put it in a great spot for her. All she had to do was go up with it. And she's got 20. Yeah, she's had a great night. Now a traveling violation. Going to be called on the other end. Lusk would draw Tongue River in the first round of the East Regional Tournament. In fact, I think that may be one of very few games that is already set. I think that is a matchup that will not change between now and next Thursday. So All the rest of them are in doubt. Yeah, Pine Girls stay alive. Uh, obviously need help from Burns tonight, but have a shot at forcing a four-way tie for first or a three-way tie for first. I don't really know. Uh, you know what the tiebreakers are when it comes to that, but that'd be interesting. Now off of the steal, Beimer lays it up and in. Here come the Lady Tigers. Potter with it, passes cross court, crying. Had it blocked, now it's taken wow. away by Hoffman. She's athletic. I mean, runs the floor, gets the block there. Just as they say how athletic she is, she falls on her pockets. <laughs> 2.50 to go. Popped right back up, though. Yes, she did. Lurwick with it, left side. Now cr tries a cross-court pass, taken away by Crine. Rachel on the run with it. Rachel needs help. Now tries to hit a backdoor cutting Potter and does so. Right side they'll go, shot won't fall. Rebound, Gray. Avery out of there with it. Pine wants to talk it over. 224 to go in regulation. Pine leads at 53 to 30. We'll take a timeout and be back after this break. But rain. Ranchers Feed and Supply and Lusk would like to thank all of their customers for your continued support. When it comes to livestock supplies, feed, ranch supplies, or clothing, Ranchers Feed and Supply is here to assist their farm and ranch friends. Muck Boots, Hubbard and Crystalux Feeds, Armstrong Steel Buildings, and much more. Ranchers Feed and Supply is here to serve Lusk and the surrounding area. We have everything for the rancher but rain. Ranchers Feed and Supply wishing all of our fine Lusk athletes the best of luck. Thank you very much, Ryan Cave. Joined by Grant Jones, Mike McNamee. Glad to have you with us for CWAC Game of the Week action. Talk a little bit about that regional tournament next week. Uh, Mike, a nice situation down here for folks uh, in the southeastern 
part of the state. Going to start that tournament at 4 o'clock at both sites, Pine Bluffs High School and, and Burns High School. So uh, that will give everybody a nice travel day uh, down this way so they don't have to come the night before and should be something. Yeah, and it uh, allows everybody a chance to play that full slate that first day uh, with games in those two venues. So off of the inbounds, Graves hits the layup. It's Lady Tiger basketball, and now a takeaway by Sweeter. Yeah, and what an advantage for Pine. Well, Pine and Burns. Both teams will get to play on the Well, especially courts. Pine, you know, with uh, that shot no good. But especially Pine Bluffs with Burns actually hosting the tournament to give Pine a chance to play in their own gym, you know, for something like that. That's... Uh, that's a big deal. Pine hosted that regional tournament two years ago, and a few of those consolation games were played in Burns, but they're going to use two sites early on in the tournament this year. Ball tapped out of bounds. Will stay with or will go back to Pine. Looks like that went out of bounds off of Gray, but they will say last touched by Lusk, so it will be Hornet basketball. Marty Smith checks back into the lineup for Lusk. If the tournament were played right now, I believe Pine would draw in the first round Sundance. But best advice that we can give is check those pairings that will be posted, I'm sure, early in the week, maybe even later this weekend. Marley Smith will come up and commit the foul here against Hattie Lurwick, her second. As we approach a minute to play, Pine with a big lead up 25. Entry down low. Hopman with the tough shot. Knocked it down in traffic. She has had a big night. Pine leads it 57 to 30. Smith steps in the lane. Runner won't fall. Hoffman with another board. Now a quick timeout is going to be called, and I think this is just a substitution timeout. Better keep her right here, I would think. Maybe not. 30 have, seconds. Yeah, they're going to kick him right back out on the court. Sounds like an opportunity to hear from our sponsors. Yeah, that's true. Let's take a timeout. We'll be back after this break. Think about how good it feels when people really get you like the friends who come over when a big game is on the neighbors next door always bring your favorite buffalo dip your in-laws know you need silence during clutch plays and everyone knows about your special post win fist bump it's kind of like having a state farm agent like linda lens i am here to get to know you and understand your life i can help make it easy for you to protect what's important get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps call state farm agent linda lens in wheatland today also located on Main Street in Lusk. Call 334-3803. 42 seconds to go in this one. Fresh set of players out there for both teams. Maybe the closest thing to the JV game that we had. Pine basketball with the big lead, 57-30. to 30. Pine Going to work it around now, try and enter down low to Lazos. That goes out of bounds. Ball back to Lusk. Boys game to follow right after this one. Also on Cinch Country 99.9, Torrington Trailblazer Wheatland Bulldog basketball. Baseline dribble drive here, now losing the handle on it. A kick out. Tigers with four to shoot, and I don't know if they'll get it done, and they won't. This one is final. Pine protects home court. They win this one, the final, 57-30. to 30. Let's take a timeout. We'll come back with end of the game stats after this break. Sadie's Cafe and Pine Bluffs is serving up the best food in town seven days a week. They're proud to support the Pine Bluffs Hornets and all extracurricular activities. Stop by Sadie's Cafe and order up something hot. Check out their Facebook page, which is always up to date with their current specials. Go Hornets from Sadie's Cafe, located on West 5th and Pine Bluffs. 
The entire staff at Farmer State Bank in Pine Bluffs would like all Pine Bluffs athletes to know that they support you and wish you the best of luck this season. Farmer State Bank invites you to stop in for all of your banking needs. Farmer State Bank is located at 103 East 2nd Street in Pine Bluffs. Again, Farmer State Bank wishes all Pine Bluffs athletes good luck and supports you every step of the way. Go Hornets! The Bluffs Vet Clinic in Pine Bluffs offers the best professional medical care for your animals. Whether livestock or personal pets, you can count on quality of care that your animals deserve. When it comes to ensuring recovery from surgical or non-surgical treatments, Dr. Shane, Nicodemus, Young, and Tanner utilize the latest in care technology as they know how much your pet means to you. For complete vet care, call Bluffs Vet Clinic at 245-9263. Final score of the girls' game, 57-30. to 30. Pine wins it on the Clark & Associates scoreboard. It's time for our end-of-the-game wrap-up, and it's brought to you by number 34. The importance of mental health has never been more prevalent, especially when it comes to the youth in our area. Shad and the crew at number 34 have been serving our area youth for over 15 years. They are currently looking for a family care coordinator and a family support partner. Call 532-0134 to learn more about those employment opportunities. Here with our end of the game stats is Dr. Grant Jones. Thank you, Michael. Pine girls score seven points in the first quarter, 19 in the second, 17 in the third, and 14 in the fourth to win this one going away, 57 to 30. This was an early Lusk lead in the ball game though, and that extended into the second quarter before the Hornets took control. Leading score for either squad, player of the game, Jessica Hoffman. Big night, 22, she only had seven at half. Also scoring four Pine Bluffs, double digits, Reese Graves with 10. Hattie Lurwick had eight. Kaylee Beimer with seven. And Avery Sweeter, McKenna Turin with four apiece, and Avery Gray with one. Lost Lady Tigers score eight in the first, 10 in the second, nine in the third, and just three in the fourth for a total of 30 points. They were led, double digits, Rachel Krein. She had nine at half, only got one more to go in the second half for that total of 10. Nine points, Tessa Manning. Five points, Hannah Krein. Uh, four points, Marley Smith, the freshman starter. And three points, for Phoebe Albright. Pine girls win it 57 to 30. Pine will go to 11 and 10 on the season, three and two in Southeast Quadrant play. Lusk falls to six and 15 and 0 and six in conference play. We're gonna take a timeout. We'll be back for boys action after this break. <laughs> 